people of the world, welcome back. My hair's low, hold on, fix that real quick. There we go. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am, I don't really know, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this channel. You know, here's the inside. I got a, there's a mirror. I can listen on Marketplace, and listen to a lot of stuff on Marketplace, but the mirror and the dresser right here will sell pretty quick because, you know, I mean, both of them. But, like I said, welcome back. This is episode two of turning a shed into my room. Today, I am, um, I'm gonna prop my phone, I'm trying to hold it real quick. Give me a little prop real quick. There we go. Hello. <laughs> um, like I said, today, today's just a day of talking, not really a lot of working like yesterday was, but uh, I'm actually gonna move some stuff. Like I don't know, I'm working a little bit. Oh, I think it's so heavy. All right, right here. Hair getting the phone out, but today is gonna be a more of a talking day than anything else. So, like, so forth. Today is more of a I already said about five times, but you understand. Today, I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna do some measurements of the roof right here and here. There it is, but hold on, let me show y'all real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna do some measurements of these right here, this one, and this one. There. Today's gonna be some measurements of each stud in the wall and then up in the roof of how much uh, stuff I'm gonna use for the walling. And then um, today I'm gonna talk about the insulation, what I'm gonna use between this wall, which is the outside, and to right here, which I'm gonna put my other wall right here. And then inside of this is gonna be the insulation. But yeah, for that's really what I'm gonna be doing today. And if y'all enjoy it, comment down below what y'all wanna see. Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna take a measure right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring up some stuff, and I'm not going to start and uh, do a time lapse too. Me measuring, and then I'll stay on measures, me measurements and stuff right quick. After some measurements, I find it out each stud, which is I'm actually gonna open the door. It's gonna get hot in here. I'm not really that nice. I'm gonna turn that off too. Uh, in here, so I measured it out, and from right here to right there is two foot. Now this one right here, from that side of the window to this side of the window, it's about 33 inches, so about two foot almost. This right here is also two foot. That's saying. So that is two foot from each one of those. Two foot, two foot, two foot, two foot, two foot, and then maybe not two foot. I'm gonna measure it out real quick. I'm not sure. Oh. Well, God dang it, hold it now. But yeah, that there is about a little, a little less than two foot, actually. That was part right there it is. But, come out over here on the roof, which is that right there. From here, I can see my hand. I still can see my hand. From there to right over there is, I think, three foot. And then same thing from right here to there. And I'm trying to measure those, but we couldn't measure too good. But all about that, three foot wide, and then I believe it's an eight by ten, so eight foot long, or eight foot wide, and then ten inches long, or ten foot long. So I think that's it, but right now, I said I'm going to get this heater out here, supposed to do the air stay, but I couldn't. And then, I'm going to put those underneath there, that, somewhere, and then I got to list some stuff in Marketplace. But I see y'all when I got a lot of stuff right there listed. Actually, I'm going to show y'all the holes that I need to fix, it is this one. Uh, that one right there, and I think there's one more. No, not right there, but there's one right here. And on the door, I got a couple right there that's been shot with the BB gun or something. And then that's it, basically, for the holes. And I can't really see too good behind there. I don't see any holes back there, but I actually gotta move all this stuff, anyways. That's trash, perfect to burn that. And then each one of these board games are five dollars, and this right here is free. Put that right there. So yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna get some stuff listed. I'm writing a place spare back. So I've listed a this dresser for sale for forty five dollars, along with that mirror. And I think what I'm gonna do is put them back. Or actually, I'm gonna move them a little bit, and then I'm gonna start sweeping in here. And I'm probably gonna do a little time lapse of that, along with me uh, taking things, putting them somewhere else, and there's all kinds of other stuff. So yeah, like I said, just one just wanted to say uh, that dresser and that mirror are. For, uh, for sale, $45, located in 
uh, Mississippi, North Mississippi. Yeah. really quick break right now because it's hot outside it's hot in the shed but yeah so today now it's time for me to say how my kind of expectations are for the shed and like the walls the uh the solution insulation there it is uh i forgot that word for a minute but um yeah uh my idea for like the insulation is just either if I can't buy any or find any insulation on like marketplace or and like dirt cheap or something some are, some are like really cheap uh, then I'm just gonna use like blankets because blankets that actually work and I don't know if they work really too good or they work really too bad my hair is hold on I'm gonna let my hair down because it's hot but anywho uh like I said I'm gonna use blankets for the insulation I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna insulate it insulation let's just pretend that this right here's a blanket but it's really not but you know for right now it's gonna be a blanket I can really use anything really. I thought about using styrofoam and like the inside, but yeah. So here's my idea, because I have a bunch of blankets running around and plus a dirt sheet, they're really, really cheap for some blankets. But I'm gonna have blankets piled up in here and they're gonna be cram packed in here, right? And then, so that way, so let's say this right here is a blanket, right? This right here is gonna be the insulation. And then that blanket is gonna be hanging there, which I'm gonna actually gonna use a paint roller right here. If I can. There. So right there's my insulation. I'm gonna move these wires too. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me real quick. Okay, that's not gonna move. But anywho, and then right here, there's gonna be the insulation. Like I said, like the quintillion time. The blankets are gonna be the insulation, they're gonna be cram packed inside the wall. On this side, uh right here and everywhere in here. There goes my little insulation. But in the wintertime, you know, okay, hold up. You're wondering why in the heck am I using blankets for insulation? Well, the thing is, you know in the winter time when you're like really, really cold and you put a blanket on and it makes you warmer? That's the thing I'm gonna do, is the outside is gonna be the cold and I'm gonna be the warm. And basically, the cold is gonna come in from outside right here and make all this your cold. But on the inside, this is gonna be myself. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna be this. So I, my bad, the blanket is gonna be stopping the cold from coming in. And your boy is gonna be inside my shed or the or my room. So that way I'm warm while those blankets are protecting me from the cold. Ah, oh, my arm's getting tired, but that's gonna be it. Like in the wintertime, it's gonna be perfect. In the summertime, it's gonna be this all uh, the same thing, it's a little flip-flopped. And I'm gonna have an AC in the window, which is right there. And the AC is gonna go on top of the my walls, which I'm finna say what the walls are gonna be. And then that walls, that blankets are gonna be keeping the walls nice and good. We all right now on to the walls. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Walls are gonna be something similar like this, but instead of using metal, I'm gonna use pallets. Now I'm wondering why. That's because well, where I live at, they're like really really cheap, five bucks a pallet or like two dollars, depends on where you get them at. And I can go rob a Walmart and go, or not really rob it, go dumpster diving for pallets. I can get a bunch of them, right? And then here's the thing. I'm gonna go, pallets are probably gonna be, if I lay them the right way, from this tall to this tall. And all I gotta do is just screw right here and here. But like I said, I'm gonna have the pallets from here all the way up here. And then behind those pallets are gonna be the insulation. And then now for my bed and stuff. So, I'm gonna start getting hot. But, now for my for my uh bed since this ain't a big spot i mean i can fit a queen size in here it's gonna be really hard to and not have a lot of room so that's why and i'm getting a futon not even wondering what a futon is i'm gonna go ahead and throw in a picture picture of it right there i look at it i know right it's a good looking futon what's on my leg it's a good looking futon ain't it i know especially when you pull them out now look at it again here's another pull out picture i know right i got flowers on me now but anywho like I said, they're really, really cool. Now I'm gonna try to put it at. Worry about all this stuff in the way. It's all this is gonna be gone. I'm planning on selling this 
and then I also might sell that. Now this is already in marketplace, waiting for somebody to buy it. If somebody buys it, but in here the futon, futon, it'll be like from there, be as wide as this thing, just about, which ain't really that wide if you look at it. Now also, the futon, it'll take up maybe, hey, I don't know, this much space. It won't be that there dang long. So I mean, don't have all this space right here, just hang out and whatnot, right? Right. And that's why the futon, when I'm gonna pull it out, especially the bad part, it's gonna come out to like right here. Eh, that's that's still a good bit. But in the morning, all I gotta do is push it right back into its couch stage, and guess what? Voila! Now I got myself a couch back to normal. I have a TV and uh, kind of big, but it's not really a smart TV. So, but anyway, it's where I'm gonna play my Xbox at, right? You might be wondering what I'm gonna do with it. I'm sure y'all. He is gonna be on this thing right here. Now this thing, I can actually take it apart from here, here, and all that kind of stuff. So it's just gonna be these three levels. So what I was thinking is my thing my TV on this here level right here. That means I'm gonna take all these apart. That's no biggie at all, right? And anyway, it's gonna be about right here. It's gonna go up to about right here, right? If I'm laying down, you know, I'm gonna be pretty low. That's gonna be directly in my eyeballs, so it's gonna be perfect. And so I'm gonna be like, okay, well, if I want me like a toaster oven, which I actually have one. I got it for like five bucks, right? And it works perfect. But the toaster oven, I actually have another one of those I'm gonna show y'all. Or tonight, I'm like hungry, so I want me a pizza, or I want me like a pepperoni or something, right? What I'm gonna do, cook up my toaster oven, right here, right somewhere right there. And I'm probably gonna skirt this right here, so I got more space right there. Now, I'm showing my room I have currently, or actually, I might not, but I might throw in some clips here and there, but I don't know if I'm probably not going to. But a lot of stuff on my walls and stuff in my old room, or not really the old room, my room I have now, like, I have a flag, like American flag towel, I have some massive road sign. I have a massive flag that says Nitro Solutions. It's pretty cool. But I, I was thinking that ain't gonna fit right here. So I guess why I'm gonna stick all that stuff. The big boy stuff, like the, the flags and whatnot, are gonna go on the roof. And I know my, I know, right? The thing is, the nitrous flag is probably from right there to right here. I said it's a big boy. So what I was thinking is I can lay it perfectly flat almost, and it'll be perfect. And for my road sign, I'm gonna stick it behind the TV. Right, right, right. Hear me out, hear me out. I know. And then for the American flag, I'm going to stick it on that there right there, that wall. And then, like I said, that wall is going to be, like, really cool. And then I have some other stuff. I'm going to stick it on this wall, such as a bunch of Bang Energy drink cans and some other G Fuel cans. The pallets. I've been wondering, why am I going to use the pallets? Well, like I said, they're cheap. They look pretty dang cool. Which I'm going to throw a picture up right now of how it's going to look. And they're right, really cool. Right, right? So, that's why I would want me a nice pallet for walls. And plus, it's gonna be everywhere. Even the roof is gonna have pallets. I'm gonna have pallets up here with some more of that. My insulation example right there. So, it's gonna be really, really cool. And you might be wondering, what about the AC? Because that window, the window is pretty small. I can't probably can't fit the AC in there. Well, here's what I was thinking. Pallets, right? One outlet right there for an extension cord, TV, Xbox, and maybe something else. An outlet right here for my phone charger and maybe something else, right? And that's something else for this outlet. It's gonna be an AC. Now, you know, y'all seen all them uh, stand up ACs, probably yay tall, and they blow pretty dang good. Now you gotta just plug them up inside of a building. That's what I'm gonna have in here, right? And then that's gonna keep it nice and cool without having a big boy in the window. For the heater, I'm gonna try making myself a heater. If not, I have an electrical heater I'm gonna use. The little like uh, grill kind of looking things. I got one of those heaters. But that's what I'm gonna use for the heater. I swallowed my sunflower seed, but. Now everybody wondering, what about storage? Well, that's that's the thing. Storage is gonna be right there and right over there. So yeah. Really basically what I'm gonna do, and with the pallets, I'm probably gonna paint them black. And that's really about what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do to the side walling and stuff. But yeah, I gotta go to my mom's in a minute. So I won't really be posting that much of more videos. Maybe about once a week, and plus school starting next Monday, the 8th. So of course, uh, videos will be slowing more down. But that don't mean nothing at all, you know? Uh, but other than that, today, it's probably going to be the um, end of the video. I still, go, I still got to edit all this stuff up, which ain't no biggie. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Just comment what you want to see in this shed. If you want to see how I'm going to do everything, I'm probably going to film it all. But like I said, I'm going to be posting videos and everything like that. But like I said, comment what you want to see, like it up, I guess, and subscribe if you're interested. Uh, see y'all. Peace.